Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, haven't shaved in some time, you could probably tell like that, but um, we're using Chella today. And that's my Chella tub there. I have not lathered yet. We'll be using the Omega 10066 bore. It's been soaking. And we're gonna use my straight that started it all, the Gold Dollar 208 with the uh, plastic carbon fiber scales. Um, so I'm going to do something new. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lather up here. What I want to do is um, kind of like present at each, at the beginning of each of my videos, present a uh, couple of soaps for you guys to choose from. And how this is going to work is, you know, I'll just give you, I have one, two, three, three different artisans here or manufacturers, if you will. Uh, in front of me and what I'll do is I'll just show show them to you guys and you guys can whatever you decide put in the comments um, so today uh, I have three and you'll pick which one you want to see me shave with next and that's what I'll use for the next video so yeah this soap is uh, incredible um, it's super cheap it's a classic and it smells I get heavy cherry and slightly sweet almond. So I know a lot of guys that use this say it's um, like a marzipan scent. Um, now, I, I've never had marzipan. I don't even know how that smells, but apparently it smells kind of like this. Um, marzipan, I know is like a sweet almond bread. Is that correct? That was, that originated in Germany. So that's about my extent of uh, knowledge on marzipan. All right, rinsed off the tub and let's wet the face. Yesterday I uploaded the uh, crawfish video. Cooking the crawfish. Finished some of those off uh, today. Had a little bit left, so I finished them off. All right, so while I'm lathering, I'll show you The three that I'm using in my next shave that you guys will pick. So we have classic tobacco. Um, I've used this in maybe one or two other videos, not too many other videos. I don't have too many videos of tobacco, but this is a great, uh, great soap, no doubt whatsoever. So that's that's one Italian barber. Michi. I have other Michi scents as well, but I've used those far more than... I have other Italian barber scents as well. Um, uh, but I've used Michi far less than the other ones, so that's part of the mix as well. And then also Tobbs, Taylor Oval, bon, Old Bond Street, Grapefruit. Now, I do have... I do have Sandalwood in this as well. I don't think I've used in a while. So I'll kind of like put that in this list as well. Like I said, three manufacturers or artisans, um, Italian barber, tobacco, and then uh, tops. But tops, you'll have two. You have two separate options if you want me to use grapefruit or if you want me to use uh, grapefruit or sandalwood. So just let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And that's what I'll use. Ah, oh, this this cream, the shaving cream that you make from this this uh, chella is just the scent is so nice. I don't have the aftershave, but I've heard the aftershave does not smell identical to the soap. That's what we have as far as the thing there. Um. If they had an aftershave that was similar to the soap, I think I'd have to probably purchase it. Because this scent is very, very nice. All right, we'll see how this gold dollar 208 gets through this growth. I don't think it'll have an issue, but 
I do know that, um, you know, I check out the edge every time before I shave. Like basically after I strop, I check out the edge. And what I'm doing now is I'm getting uh, this. This is what I use. It's a 30-60 lens. You have your 30 here and your 60 here. And I just basically look, look at that uh, edge with this 60 typically just to see where it's at. And there's a little on this side of the blade, you can't really even see it with, with the naked eye, but there's a little bit of a, um, like a foil over kind of like where I guess it's, it's the edge is a little too thin and um, kind of falls over. So uh, I did get a haircut by the way. I'm sure you guys could tell that. We're tugging a little bit. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, this will be the last shave with this with this specific edge. I'm gonna have to uh, kill the edge and then bring it back. Maybe not even kill it. Maybe just uh, rehome. You know, on the finishing. Mm-hmm. Took that off nicely. Again, there's a slight, slight amount of tugging. Not too bad. Yeah, so... Hope everyone's been doing well. Have a good weekend. Hope you have a good week coming up. <clears throat> Hopefully no one watching this has been affected by the um, uh, riots, I'll call them. Yeah, like uh, like Anthony said in his video today, you know, you don't cut down the entire forest for one bad apple, and that's that's unfortunately what's happening right now in America. Um, so you know. Yeah, man, this scent is so nice. I just haven't used it in a while, you know? I'm sure if I used it every day, you know, it, it would wear off on me until I put it down for a while and, and use it again. That's why it's nice having, having you know, multiple soaps. And do you need as much as I have? No, you don't. I'd say, you know, maybe four or five soaps that you really, really like. And just rotate them, you know? Um, 
using the same thing over and over and over will make you you won't enjoy the scent as much now don't get me wrong the performance won't change right I mean if it's a great performing soap it doesn't matter how many times you use it it's gonna perform great regardless but it's the scent you know we don't always we don't want to shave with the same scent over and over day in and day out that's why we buy multiple multiple scents and with that you know you end up purchasing different soaps because you want to try different bases you want to try different manufacturers but you just get out of hand like what I have back here So my parents came over yesterday and um, ate some of the crawfish and, you know, potatoes and mushrooms. And... and the plan is, um, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, to have my sister and uh, her husband also come over and just do kind of like a crawfish bowl Although I see on that 60 times scope, this uh, little, it's not a nick, like, you know, some, some blades you could see that there's a visible nick, like a piece of the actual edge missing. That's not the problem with this. I don't really have like a zoom, um, <clears throat> a zoom camera or, or, you know, microphone, or not microphone, but micro lens. Um, so I can't necessarily show you guys what I'm talking about, but it's not, there's not a nick in the blade. It's just, it looks a little like, um, like a little small piece of the edge is kind of folded over slightly, slightly. But I'm not feeling any of that, you know, while I'm shaving. And I determined, I, I mean, I, I was debating if I wanted to use that blade anyways because of that, but it doesn't seem like it's, it's not causing any issues. So, I don't know. I think we're okay. I'm gonna finish up today with some uh, 4711s. German, uh, I think, I believe it's German made um, aftershave. Very, very nice citrusy scent on that, I love it.
I'll have a very busy week this week. So I don't know. It may be until next weekend that I can actually shave again. Probably not. I mean, I think I have a busy Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'll probably be able to get a shave out on Thursday, which will use these uh, one of these three products that you guys pick. Oh boy. I hate thinking about work stuff on my uh, weekends. But it's got to be it's got to be thought about. This was actually a very pleasant shave. I don't even think I cut myself, which is rare for me with a straight to not have any blood. But I also had a lot of growth, I guess, to kind of protect on that initial pass. Oh, wow. We are definitely smooth. Wow, even my neck is very smooth. Okay. No complaints here. No blood either, which is nice. Wait, did I cut myself there? No. No, that's just a blemish. Okay. Good. Although, you know, we'll find out as soon as I put this on. If there was uh, any. Oh. <laughs> this stuff is cheap and it's amazing. Oh, the scent on this. It's hard to put my finger exactly on what it is, but it's definitely a citrus forward scent. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Gee. Get it up in here so I could uh, smell it all day. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get another shot of it just because. Mm. Oh, yeah. Excellent shave. Absolutely no burning, no tingling, nothing at all. Is that a blemish? That's another blemish. It's not bleeding. It's just a blemish. Um, absolutely great shave, like I said. Cella is, I'm assuming, part of that great shave. You know, making it slick enough for me to use. More cuts. I went with the Gold Dollar 208. Whoop! With the plastic carbon fiber scales. And 4711. I'm going to pronounce this just for you. Echt. Kholnish. Awesome. I probably just botched it, but it is what it is. I tried. Great scent. If you haven't, if you haven't purchased this, it's on Amazon. I believe it's on a couple of other stores. Um, it's cheap. Like, just grab one. Seriously, you're gonna like the scent. If you like citrus forward scents, you'll like that. All right, guys, that's it for the next uh, shave. Like I said, to back Italian barbers Amici or grapefruit slash sandalwood from Taylor of Old Bond Street. Please uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you want me to see. See you next year.